Hey everyone, I'm sorry I haven't updated my blog in quite a while and I haven't made any videos It's because I've had a rough time the last 3 months or so, 3 months plus um, I've got good news for you, I'm pregnant and I already know the gender which I will share in my next video like a gender review and talk about how you can tell maybe if it's a boy or a girl um, so I'll talk about that in my next video but I just wanted to update you really quickly that we are pregnant we know the gender I'm into my second trimester already and the reason I couldn't share my news with you earlier is because you know it's almost like I can't believe it's true because last year when we fell pregnant in November in January well just before January we found out it was ectopic and it was in my right tube and we had to terminate it and the choices we had was surgery or a metal traxate jab and I opted for the jab and because of that jab you cannot try to conceive for about three months after so we had to wait January, February, March this year before we started trying again and um, yeah so here we are now it's June um, three months plus into my pregnancy so second trimester and finally everything is okay the reason I couldn't share my news any earlier was because just five and a half weeks like almost six weeks into the pregnancy at five and a half weeks I had a very early scan because just to make sure it wasn't ectopic again even the, doc the doctor assured me that you know the previous ectopic was just really bad luck and the ch chances of it occurring again was slim because I had no um, um, causes for it so it, I didn't have like blocked tubes or anything like that which can cause ectopic so mine was just pure bad luck and that sucks you know but and it still didn't keep me worrying that it would happen again you know because if it happened once why not one more time so I couldn't be happy with the pregnancy just yet and I went for a very early scan at five and a half weeks and actually saw the heartbeat um, so usually they say you can't see the heartbeat at five and a half weeks, you have to wait till six plus. So everything was going not only just on track but faster than I expected. You know, everything's developing well. But during that week itself again, something bad happened. So like two days after the scan I started bleeding in the middle of the night, like three AM in the morning, it was gushing blood and I'm talking gushing. With my ectopic I had bleeding as well, but that's more like a period type of bleeding almost to the point that I thought oh maybe I'm not pregnant but my HCG kept going up at that point so they knew you are pregnant we just got to figure out what's wrong and that's when they finally diagnosed it as an ectopic and I had to get rid of it so this time around I thought oh what's going on now if I'm gushing blood and it's different from the other bleeding the ectopic bleeding because this one was very very fluid and very light no light it was heavy it was gushing but it was light as in the texture of it it wasn't like when you cut yourself in this blood, it's not that kind of thick blood, but it's more like I'm peeing blood almost, you know. But obviously, I'm not actually peeing it. But the consistency of it, it was just so much and so fluid. I thought, well, am I peeing myself or what? And then I realized, no, I'm bleeding and it's blood. And I had to rush to the hospital at 3 a.m. on my own because uh, my husband wasn't in the country at that point. Uh, he was at his friend's funeral uh, in the UK. So. 4 a.m. I go to the hospital, I get a jab to try to stop the bleeding and stuff um, and a scan revealed that the baby is actually still doing okay and is measuring two days larger than the previous scan so everything is on the track, the heartbeat was still strong but around the baby there was a big pool of blood and they call it a subchorionic hematoma and it was large like usually anything above above 50% is considered high risk and mine was the same size as the gestational sac so it was like 100% and it wasn't looking too good so I was put on strict bed rest and I had scans every week which showed the clot uh, well the blood had started to clot and the danger is that when the if your body expels the clot through a contraction or something it, it because of the size of the clot being so large it can take the baby along with it and you'll miscarry so I was on strict bed rest for many weeks I think altogether I was on bed rest for about five weeks and finally at the ten and a half almost eleven week mark that scan revealed that the clot had finally dissolved itself and my body absorbed it so another thing is that I was on Dupaston 
which is this medication to, to um, strengthen the placenta or something like that um, and also stop the bleeding and that helped a lot because ever since that first gush of blood uh, after the bleeding stopped I never bled again but of course I was still worried and I was still stuck on bed rest and it's very depressing not knowing what's going on and whether everything will be okay finally <sighs> at the almost 11 week mark everything was okay and then another thing came up was that would you like to take a down syndrome test you know screening and it's not compulsory but i wanted to take it anyway but i had read online and also a couple of my friends like actual friends first hand experience had the oscar screening and it came up false positive and then they had to go for an amnio and an amnio actually carries a risk of miscarriage because you have to inject into the womb and get the sample from the amnio amniotic fluid or something like that so that can cause a miscarriage and i thought i don't want to go through that so i don't want a false positive and it will cause me worry so i just opted for a dna test instead it's called the harmony test and it's very expensive i think i paid a thousand three hundred dollars for it at thompson um but well worth the money it says you get your results in two weeks and you can also know the gender as well because it's a dna test so you'll know the gender as well so that's how i know the gender pretty early um I, i've been i've known it since the 11 and a half weeks usually you don't find out till about 16 weeks like that so yeah so i'll update you in the next video with the gender and i just want to tell you that everything's all clear no you know risk for down syndrome and stuff everything's looking good so finally i can enjoy this pregnancy and i hope that you will stick with me on this journey and be happy for me because it's been a struggle to get here so finally see ya